a big part of my life, I was、uh, a Sunday church going Catholic, just on Sundays with my family,、uh, up to college even.、Um, my Catholic faith was just going to church every Sunday, going to Mass every Sunday.、Um, but then, after, and then I, when I started working, and this was in Los Angeles, and I started to become more active with. The Indonesian Catholic community, with the、uh, the local parish, I joined the choir and then joined a prayer group.、Uh, I started attending like different uh, faith uh, formation events and, and Catholic events, and I just thought at at one point I thought you know I enjoy I was enjoying this more than my nine to five Monday to Friday job. And I found myself to be more、uh, attract. Like I was thinking to myself, like maybe I want to do this full time as a, as a Catholic priest at that time. So I was start. I started looking at different orders. I went to a Jesuit high school in Indonesia, so I checked out the Jesuit, checked the、uh, the Los Angeles Archdiocese.、Um, I didn't know anything about the Franciscans until I met a Franciscan brother, and he offered to take me to see the different houses in California and visit the friars. And just from that experience of meeting the friars in their their natural habitat,、um, just to、uh, to feel that brotherhood, the, the the connections between them, and、uh, the the sharing that they have with each other,、uh, and it, that the fact that they're they're very human,、um, just very relaxed, just very just very likable, and that's what really attracted me. Before I knew anything about Franciscan spirituality, Saint Francis and Saint Claire, it was the meeting, the encounter with the brothers. Out of formation, I I, I decided to help、uh, one of our friars to start a community near the border, on the Arizona-Mexico border, <clears throat> and that was a very, very valuable experience for me. And then after that, I went to become.、Uh, A deacon and then a priest in Arizona at our Franciscan Renal Center or the Casa. And when I was there,、um, it was、uh, it was it was a good experience too. It was it was liturgy well done. I think for me there was I, I always love liturgy. I, I love how you know if, if if liturgy is done well, that's that's what I'm attracted to. And so and and that was my experience there. And then I moved to a parish in、uh, Oceanside Mission San Luis Rey, one of the California missions. And this is a very multicultural, very big parish, multicultural parish.、Uh, it comes with challenges, of course, like trying to coordinate, trying to、uh, um, minister to very diverse、uh, groups of people.、Uh, but it's very, they're very lovable, they're very generous,、um, and it was it was also a, a, an amazing experience to be with them. And where I am now, I'm just starting in San Francisco in the Tenderloin. This is the in in the city of San Francisco. This is where drug addictions happens, alcoholism,、uh, homelessness, poverty.、Um, but I think I feel like this is also like where we are called to be as Franciscans, to be on the margins, to 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 minister、uh, to and to minister with. And sometimes we are being ministered. By them, ministered to by them. So, so I'm I'm just starting here, and I'm just you know looking forward to like all the adventures and all the 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 the, the grace-filled encounters. I enjoy life. I enjoy life. I enjoy learning different cultures, meeting different people,、uh, going to different places, new places,、uh, and I just don't want to just go as a tourist. I like to. Think of myself going as as uh, as uh, uh, a traveler, you know, like like learning the local custom, the local culture, local food,、uh, the local people, you know. So so what I feel like what I'm not like and what I don't like is to be on a, a cruise ship where I or or an all inclusive resort where I just stay there and everything is provided there. I want to go and explore. I think the challenges for Franciscans, especially in 21st century,、um, a lot of it, and I don't think it's just the Franciscans, but the Catholic Church in general too, to to this this decreasing sense of relevancy. How do we make ourselves Franciscan, Catholic Church, Catholic faith,、uh, religion, even right? 
to be relevant uh, to especially to this generation right now a uh, generation that's probably is that's you know they don't feel the need to be white why why do i need to go to church why do i need to have a religion why do i have to have faith or or connect with the franciscans i would like for people to view the franciscan as someone who can be a bridge between the reality of life, what they're experiencing in the world with God, or, you know, the, the something that is greater than themselves, this, this divine power, uh, not as not experiencing God as someone who's just who's ready to judge us, but to to give us the space to to be doubtful, to be uh, pessimistic sometimes, to be uh, to be sometimes frustrated with things that are happening in the world. How can we still uh, maintain our relationship with God with everything that is happening around us? Uh, hopefully, as Franciscans, we can be that bridge. We can share with people uh, how God has worked in our own life and then we can want to share that with you.